What's up everyone, this is Super Super Marcel and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the last episode, we finished the Dimorphodon enclosure. I'm very proud with how it looks. It looks amazing, you know. Granted, there's no real point to this side of the enclosure. I don't, I, the, the Dimorphodons rarely go over here anyway. They, they hang around here more, but that doesn't matter. They're, they're still happy, they're still content. It's a it's a really cool enclosure. I'm I'm very happy with this enclosure. It's definitely one of my favorite ones I've made so far. Now, we we've also started working on the Diplodocus enclosure. We tried to work around with Pteranodons and Chronosaurs. I'm still need to figure out a way to, on how to mix with that. Maybe I just might just throw away Pteranodon as a whole and just put in Chronosaurs. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put Pteranodon. Uh, aviary here i'm not sh too sure what to do but i and th whatever but we we still have uh remains of diplodocus in fact we're we're pretty much done with the whole diplodocus scene uh stuff we can make it right now but i might as well just you know increase the dna right uh let's see okay yep this is this looks good Right, it will, it will do that. Increase the DNA, uh, and then when that when that's done, we'll start working on the Diplodocus enclosure. Now, I th this is a massive enclosure, like a really massive enclosure, and an understandably massive enclosure because you know it's Diplodocus and they're sauropods, so you need quite a bit of space for a dinosaur of that size. Um, but because of this massiveness, I think we can, uh, what I'm thinking is putting like a, a, a viewing tower over here. A viewing tower would be very cool, uh, and well fitting for this type of dinosaur enclosure. Um, and we'll, maybe we'll also put some galleries here, but of course we don't really have room for, to say. Um, hmm, let's have a look quickly. Attractions. Viewing galleries. Okay. Can we fit one anywhere? We can fit one here. But obviously there's, you know, a bit of a problem with that. Might as well do it anyway. The, the, the fossils are done as well, so I'm, I might as well quickly just... Okay, so let's see. Bloop, bloop. Diplodocus, a science scientist. Uh, good enough. If, if we just ignore this area, <laughs> it's decent enough. And last but not least, we get the viewing tower. Okay, so what how, what? what? how many do we got? We got two. Docile, never terrorize its guest, large appetite. Uh, yeah, this seems good. Costs a lot of money though, but it's fine. We're, I'm pretty sure we're now at the point where we don't need to worry about money as much. We're, so we should be good on that part. Uh, let's see. Cheaper incubation, cheaper incubation, cheaper incubation. And besides, we get it down to 400,000 anyway, so that's good. Now, hmm. Okay, let's try something interesting for this enclosure. So we're do working with the Plotacus, right? Uh, again, I'm not a paleobotanist. I don't know what their trees and plants would have looked like. I'm sure there were definitely ferns. That's that's a certain. Uh, but I'm just gonna do like something like this. So it's, uh, what I'm thinking of is like. Something similar in appearance to uh, walking with dinosaurs uh, forest area, you know, how there's like the, the pine trees and whatnot. I feel like if we work around with this, could be very cool looking enclosure and very reminiscent of that very famous dinosaur documentary. Yeah, 
Oh, look at this. Really cool. Now, whether or not the Diplodocuses will actually be comfortable with this many trees, we will have to find out, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Ah, oh, man. And while this is doing this, I might as well keep working over here and figure out how the hell we are going to get this to work, Cretaceous Sea World. Again, uh, I really want to get Pteranodon, you know, and pretend it's like, though, it's it's like the pelicans from SeaWorld. But, like, uh, it's, I don't know if it's possible, though. Um, I, I definitely do want this, like, last area to be, like, the grand stars. Like, hey, check out this cool giant great white shark, which we don't have great white sharks. Um, <laughs> now thinking about it. I don't think any zoo has had ever had great white sharks in an aquarium. Apparently, I've uh, there there was one time actually. I remember hearing about this. There was one time that someone actually had a, a great white shark in in the aquarium, but it, like died not long after. Because uh, I guess the they're not built for something like this. Yeah, this is going to have to do, unfortunately. I guess perhaps we can still get the Tyranodons. We'll put the Tyranodon enclosure here, I'd say. But otherwise, yeah, it's not It's not going to work out. Uh, okay, but hopefully this is enough space for uh, Chronosaurus. Uh, I feel like it should be good enough. How many aviaries can we fit in here? How many... Would a Tyrannodon be comfortable with? Free? This looks good. I feel like this is good enough. Ah, hell to I'll work on it later. Okay, so, Chronosaurus. How are we going to work with this? I feel like this little area right here would actually be pretty good. You know, it's just... You walk along and, you, and like, see the mighty Chronosaurus and, and like... You put the shark stuff there, and right, and this just goes, rah, 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 rah. just swallows the shark. So I'm pretty sure um, it goes off by shark feeder, right? Like I'm fairly certain that Chronosaurus is like the one marine reptile that isn't Mosasaurus that also f uses the shark feeders. So hmm. we'll see how it goes. All right. In the meantime, we got our Diplodocus is ready. All right. So here we go. Uh, yeah, we've seen Diplodocus before in this game and the other game as well. All right. So I don't need to talk about it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> now I wonder if we can fit like a, a good, decent-sized herd instead of just two individuals. I feel like we could. It's a lot of space, so surely. <laughs> Hurry up! That's what that guy's doing. Look at that. That's weird. Why aren't we getting that? Oh, there we go. Another massive animal. The Diplodocus was once considered the longest animal that ever lived. And now, thanks to our extensive research, it's back. My task is to make sure we learn everything we can about this dinosaur. Your task is making sure these magnificent creatures can survive in the modern world. Okay, where would be a good, like, a uh, here? I mean, you can you can drive around these trees, surely. All right, so let, all right, let's work with the okay missing forest. Uh, I'm just going to assume that 
if I wait long enough and, and it cat gets all the area, then it'll then it'll be all good. All right, what else does it want? Tall fruit and a forest. Okay, let's get tall fruit. Get like trees then. But at the same time, you don't want it to be in the way. Ooh, would that be in the way? Hold on. Oh, I don't know. I feel like this might not be enough forest. We might need to put in more trees and stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I'm patient, it might change. I still don't understand how these trees don't count as forest. Like, they're trees. And they're, and they're what? Because they're edible, they don't count as trees? That doesn't make sense at all, but okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. In the edges, I'll put up these little trees. So that way, if you try to have a, a little sneak peek through the fences, it's not going to be as effective. So you gotta, you gotta pay your money to go into your viewing galleries and see this, the big guys. I'm an artistic genius. And it lowered. <laughs> it lowered a lot. There you are. Very cool. Yeah, maybe. I, I think I might increase the, the Diplodocus population later. Not right now. I got some other stuff to do. Uh, but I'll definitely see if I can get more Diplodocuses. To, to one, increase the chance that, it's, that someone would go into any of these attra attractive buildings and see a dinosaur uh, in this enclosure. And B, I just feel like the enclosure would be better if there were more than two Diplodocuses. Because, you know, when you generally think of Diplodocus, walking with dinosaurs really painted a infamous picture on Diplodocus, right? And so now... And now every time you think of the dinosaur Diplodocus, you think of the walking with dinosaurs depiction of the dinosaur. Right, and and generally in that in that TV show, you think like you know there's lots of them, massive herd. It's, it's not just one or two individuals on their own. Um, yeah, you gonna take a nap, eat? Yeah, chow down on that good food. Hell yeah! All right, now let's get working on Cretaceous Sea World. Uh, particularly on pteranodons, which we have no DNA of. So we might as well get that done and sorted. Also, actually, I'm going to take a sneak peek. So, Chronosaurus. Yeah, we have to research it. It's fine. $500,000 plus the cheap research that should get us on track. We have pteranodon, right? Yeah, we have pteranodon. I might as well actually quickly just get Chronosaurus be researched. <laughs> just so I can get that over and done with, so I don't have to worry about that later. And while it's doing that, we'll send some dick teams to get some Pteranodon remains. Struffy, Mimus, Mysore, no, no, Pteranodon. For $960,000, hold on. Hold on for a second. Is there a cheaper one? <laughs> There's a cheaper one there, with Tylosaurus remains as well. Okay. Yeah, we're going for this one. Why does it cost so much to get Pteranodon remains? I guess it's a very infamous pterosaur. Like when you think of pterosaurs, you always think of Pteranodon, and people foolishly call it Pterodactyl instead. <laughs> 
but uh. right on okay now what else can we start working on um we still have a huge amount of area here as well and i want the safari i want the the our little gyrosphere or safari safari um to be like right here right uh like let's say brachiosaurus is here maybe uh some tapajaros here and then malabarosaurus i say here as well maybe we'll also have some dryosauruses with the brachiosauruses as well um and of course we got this massive area here not too sure what to do in that area um maybe we can think about something so let's have a look at our roster so we're ignoring the mar the marine a flying reptiles so we got right so dryosaurus that's going to be with the brachiosauruses definitely it says RK Ornithomimus, Malacephalae, Stiggy Moloch, Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus could work. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to get mid me. <laughs> get some of that instinctual ancient Australian roots, you know? Ankylosaurus, we've definitely had before. Let's take a rest on the Ankylosaurus. Work around with some. Crichtonsaurus is actually available. We could get Crichtonsaurus. Pentaceratops would also be a really cool choice as well. Ceratops, another Ceratopsian that we have not gotten before. Hmm. Chasmosaurus, Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus might not be a bad choice as well. What about, so, Chimerosaurus, Brachiosaurus, no, 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 I think we've gotten our good break with the Diplodocus in the outer enclosure. Let's get something that's not a sauropod. What are we doing, how are we going with Hadrosaurus? We could get Myasaura. We, we will get Matabarosaurus. <laughs> How many times do I need to... What is happening? I swear, I keep disinfecting this feeder over and over again. Why is it... Why is it, like, keep... No sources of salmonella. Alright. It's weird. Like, for some reason, it just keeps getting... buggered. <laughs> How's our Pteranodon dig going? Okay, it's it's almost done. Oh, man. Alright. Maybe we could also work around some guest buildings here as well, I guess. That's a possibility. Hmm. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split the path to this direction. And this is where the monorail will join up. Excellent. I guess we'll, we'll just build some guest buildings here, and if there is still room, then we can maybe work with a dinosaur enclosure. Particularly around this area. I don't know, it's an interesting thing to think about. We'll definitely get a power station running here. I think it's time to get a new power station. Oh, Tyranodons are finished. Alright, what do we got? We got Tylosaurus. We got a few Tylosaurus, actually. No. 
no pteranodons. I well, one pteranodon, but uh... can we just send another team? We'll send another team. As might as well try our luck. Uh oh. Fossils held at customs. Fossils from the expedition has been held at customs. Really, Walter? What happened? Bribe customs. Secretly pay the local government to have the fossils released from customs. Lose $100,000. Wait with the fossils. Send scientists to pay with the fossils to send help speed up customs. Two times remaining task time. Walter Sorez unavailable until task complete. Delay expedition. Um, I got heaps of money. I'm, I guess I'll just bribe them. Sure. Right. Is the Chronosaurus done as well? I think the Chronosaurus is finished. So if we got go down here, Matabarosaurus, Chronosaurus. <laughs> oh man, you bet we're going to get that. I'm going to try and get as many Australian dinos as possible. Even though this is this is uh, Jurassic World Germany, you know, and again, it's kind of difficult to to build a Jurassic Park purely set in Ger with German dinosaurs because there's not a lot I can work with. There's Europasaurus, the, the Brachiosaur. That's it. I completely forgot what was in Germany again. I think there was some, definitely some pterosaurs, and there were some. Maybe some marine reptiles. Europasaurus is the one definite dinosaur, like actual dinosaur that I actually remember getting. And I think, oh no, yeah, there were some carnivorous dinosaurs, but obviously since this is a challenge mission with purely only herbivores, you know, it's kind of hard to, to achieve that. We're going very slow with our pteranodons here. Are there any other? No, no. Okay. Oh, and we've used up all of the remains from Smokey Hill. Oh, God damn it! All right then. So we're gonna have to spend nine hundred sixty thousand dollars just to get to run it on. Oh, God damn you, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Fine. Which one's the faster route? That's seven minutes, and that's still seven minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay let's do this I'm really really hoping that the pteranodons will be chill and okay with this amount of space I don't know we'll find out let's make some pteranodons now we've definitely had some pteranodons in the past that were very annoying. Hold on. Needy, social, and weak. 75% oh, chance for needy? Oh my god. They're definitely not gonna like this space of an enclosure then, aren't they? I like the sounds. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Needy and needy. Oh my god. 30% environmental. Okay, well, I guess we'll just discard them. Oh, god damn it. Why did that have to be Tyranodon? Like. Yeah, Pteranodon's hard to work with. And it, it's a, it, it's annoying because Pteranodon, like in this enclosure particularly, in this area, I feel like Pteranodon would be very fitting. But obviously it's going to be very hard to even get one Pteranodon with good enough DNA. 
And then you're gonna have to go through the process of making sure you do that again because you know the pteranodon DNA not DNA, the bloody pteranodons in general are so needy in their population, it's just gonna be really frustrating. Maybe we'll just have the enclosure just be this, you know, like oh, a, a really coastal area. Just place a bunch of rocks and stuff. Alright, let's try again. Cheaper synthesis. Uh, uh, positive influence. Let's put down like a movie. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Here you go. Come see. Um. Uh, Bloody Finding Nemo. <laughs> Needy. Oh, weak. That's a start. Alright. We're gonna make that one Pteranodon. But we're not gonna release him just yet. Because I know for a fact. <laughs> that it will get... Like, agitated, like, hey, why am I the only one here? Ah, get me out of this birdcage. <laughs> I'm free, I'm going to the ocean. <laughs> I still find it weird. Like, no one's coming here. But yet, if we look at management, there are definitely people here. There are most certainly people coming here. In fact, there's apparently crowding over here. How's there crowding if there's not a single person on site? <laughs> Guest distribution. Most guests. Really? Oh yeah, that makes sense. The Tylosaurus. Edmonosaurus has been diagnosed with Cryptosporidiosis. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> That's a big flex move if I've ever seen one. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Sticks its tail through the electrified fence. It's like that's a quite a power move. It's like <laughs> I'm not afraid of this fence, and I could break out any time I want to. <laughs> needy, needy. Oh, for God's sakes. Ah, oh, but yeah, I might just work with the pteranodons off screen, probably, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done. I still need to work on the safari. I think I might, you know what? I think I might just start building the the safari in the next episode. Yeah, I'll start working on that. The next episode is purely just going to be working on the big safari. Uh, and so what I'm thinking is like. Yeah, first enclosure is going to be your motorbar sources. Then you're going to have the aviary, and then the yeah, the brachiosaurus and whatnot. Perhaps uh, we could put an innovation center here, because um, it definitely fits. Just go, you know. And I don't know. Maybe we'll have something in there as well. Maybe something like a pachycephalosaur or something. If this is the area we're building with, I don't know. We're, we're very close to five stars, surely. And I feel like this safari would definitely nail the coffin. Mind you, there's also stuff that we got to do here as well. You know, uh, get in terms of guest stuff. Uh, you know, like... Uh, you know, it's basic guest needs. I'm just going to quickly just, like... I came across Pteranodon. A dim I saw a Dimorphodon perch. That's the shirt they're wearing. Anyways, okay. 
Um, right. But, anyways, we just ended here. I think I might get some Diplodocuses off screen as well. I don't know. I'll find out. But if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Now I'm Super Super Marcel. Make sure you have a super super time.